Well, good morning, Brenda. A bright Thursday morning, uh, open skies, intermittently shifting positions with the clouds, uh, perhaps symbolic of the reflective political context under which uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta makes that critical visit to Kisumu County. We are at Ahero. This is going to be the first stop for the president when he comes visiting here. His first uh, business here being the launch of this interchange here, the Ahero interchange, a critical interchange that is going to be connecting Kisumu, Kericho, as well as Kisi, sections of Kisi. And this is critical because it is going to be opening up the uh, Ahero irrigation scheme that is uh, known for rice production to the markets in Kisi, Kericho, as well as Kisumu. Uh, it is a visit that is going to be uh, climaxed with the launch of the Universal Healthcare uh, Pilot Program that is targeting Kisumu Machakos, Isiolo, and Nyeri counties. And this is important because the success of uh, the universal health care in these counties is going to set the template upon which the program can be implemented across all the 47 uh, counties. Uh, but before perhaps we can delve more into just what that uh, program entails as well as uh, what the itinerary of the president will be like in his two-day uh, tour of the region, I, ha I can see a few of the leaders from this region. I can see Nyakach, Member of Parliament, Aduma Award. Perhaps if you could just uh, uh, briefly talk to us. And I can also see Moshimua Paul Koinange from Kiamba, who also chairs the uh, National Assembly Security and Administration Committee. I can also see nominated Senator uh, Rose Nyamunga also here, awaiting the President's arrival, which should happen in a few minutes or so, uh, because tentatively they had said between 9 and 10. Let's begin with uh, the Nyakach. Uh, Moshimua, Moshimua in interesting times politically and uh, perhaps if we could just talk a little bit about the economic impact of the president's visit the launch here as well as the universal health care program what do you uh, think your residents want to hear the president talk about when you talk to your constituents in, in uh, Nyakach what do they tell you that they want you to tell the president when you have that closed door meeting that is going to be climaxing his visit here perhaps today or tomorrow Th thank you I think uh we are excited about this visit because this is the first official visit after the last year's general elections. And uh, the people of Nyakach are quite upbeat because what the president is going to launch here, Nyakach is going to be a major beneficiary in the entire Kisumu County. So that would be good news for them. When we also talk about universal health care, health has been a very big challenge to our people. It has been a very big challenge, so when he comes to launch this one, that will indeed boost the... If you have a healthy nation, then you have a healthy people, and that will actually boost the economy of the region. Mm -hmm. So we are upbeat, and it is also good. The political signals are also good, because when you have the president and the people's president coming together, I think those are very good signals when you talk about inclusivity. Mm -hmm. The peace that had been elusive for this country has been realized since the two leaders enjoy Danshek. And I can see you quite a number. So let, let me also get Moshimua Paul Koinange before I can also speak to, to the others. Moshimua from Kiamba, yes. they say uh, the visitor is the one who comes with the goodies. <laughs> and you uh, happen to chair a very important National Assembly Committee on uh, Administration and uh, National Security. What message in terms of the reconciliation agenda between the president and the opposition chief, are you as members of that committee advancing and what strategies do you have to ensure that it's not just a handshake but a successful one? Yeah, I would like to say that uh, both the president and uh, the Honorable Raila, they're very serious about the change to come in this country. And I think it's uh, upon leaders to take it very seriously because change cannot come only by the ordinary wanaichi but it comes with us leaders. So they have told us as leaders to make sure that we speak to our people to know the change. And we are building bridges among people from different areas. As you can see where we are, to me, is very exciting. Because when the road is done here, we are building bridge to other people. So it will be easy to visit other areas. It will be easy to reach out to the other area. And I like to say as security committee, we are also very happy to say that with the new reforms that are going on, we have the police reforms. I'll say, I want all the colleagues of mine, honorable members, to make sure that 
they join with us because reforms cannot be done by the interior ministry alone. It has to be done by leaders because reforms involves constituencies. And in the constituencies, for example, now, we are going to have a, a police station, a police station in every ward. Meaning, if you have five wards, you have five police stations. Who is going to be the person to implement? It will be the member of parliament because the interior will not have that time to reach out to the people and organize through so the CDF and the other amount will be able to make security even more effective. And I'll say today that I'm here, I feel very proud as a Kenyan because Kenyans are coming closer to each other and the future of this country will come because apart from fighting corruption and fighting with the ethnicity which makes nation fall, leadership has come between Uhuru and Raila and this is the bright future for our nation. I can see you quite a number. Let me talk to Mwishmiwa Koyo. Uh, perhaps as the president comes here today, we know that you as the Nyanza leaders were at the forefront in what came to be known as the resistance agenda against President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election after the acrimonious 2017 polls. What message do you expect from uh, the president when he uh, comes here together with the opposition chief, uh, Raila Odinga? Th thank you very much. That was politics, which has been swept under the carpet, under the carpet. Uh, the president, the impression that that was created or has been created, which we want to erase in the history of this country, is that there was President Uhuru Kenyatta, who was the president of this country, minus Luo Nyanza. Uh, we want to make it abundantly clear that Luo Nyanza is part of Kenya, where under the leadership of, able leadership of President Uhuru Kenyatta. And that's the history we are creating today. We are very happy that this uh, has come in th at this point in time. These bridges we are building, we also need this kind of bridges and road networks that will to help those bridges uh, achieve their un un uh, expected aim. Otherwise, we are very grateful that the government, uh, President Uru Kenyatta, is coming here. We leave the political angle for him to come and talk. Then maybe we can comment after that. I think that will be sufficient for President Uru and Kenyatta to give us the way forward. Otherwise, we are very grateful. We only want to remind him that this kind of uh, uh, infrastructural development that is coming to create or to, to uh, rather to launch were long overdue. They should have been done a long time ago. This, this road is too important for any meaningful business. Just like another one called Moroni uh, Mambuleu Road. Too important for any meaningful development in a particular area to be done. And for strange resource, it was neglected and we only hope that the president will make positive comment or action, take positive action uh, about it. No, no. Otherwise, we want to welcome His Excellency the President, and we hope that he will uh, make meaningful mention about the road I've talked about, the Moroni Mambuleo Road, okay. and also something serious one, about two. the sugar industry, one, two, which is the two. back. Which is the backbone of the economic uh, stay of this country. No, thank you so much, Mashua. Very briefly, perhaps, because I need to hand over back to the studio before uh, we can continue the conversation. Uh, Mashua, at the peak of the resistance agenda, you became synonymous Sound with check. that uh, very famous statement, Wakiapisha to Naapisha. And sure you did. And uh, a few months later, the president is in your backyard. Uh, what, 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 what do you want, he, to, want uh, to hear him talk about, given that you were among those that were at the forefront in the resistance of his second term? Well, I think uh, we, we are really, really, as you can see, we are here in full swing. The whole entire leadership of Nyanza is here, led by our, our own leader, um, the leader of, of NASA, Raila Molo Dinga. Um, we are very, very excited at the prospects of the president uh, visiting us. Um, resist was resist. It was what it was. Uh, that was politics. Um, and that was that phase of politics. We are now in a new phase of politics, which is politics under the handshake. And this has fundamentally changed um, our politics in this region and in this country generally. The tranquility that has come with it is just... Uh, amazing, and we must thank and congratulate His Excellency Raila Moloding and His Excellency the President for that very bold step. And they have, all their supporters have fallen in line as far as the handshake is concerned. So, with the President coming, uh, there are many, several uh, projects, including wh where we are currently. Um, uh, we hope that he will speak to many others that touch the lives of our people. Uh, we hope that he will look at the issue of uh, the whole industry of border border and. Uh, and uh, the motorcycle and the pro box industry and how to align because that is a major issue currently affecting our people here but we also hope that he will talk about the Korusoin Dam to be able to manage the floods uh, that are 
perennial in this area to be able to sort out the issue of water supply, to be able to sort out the irrigation issue, that is a game changer in this region. So it is our hope that the Korusoin Dam will be top in his agenda as well. No, thank you so much, Mishu. I don't know how much time I still have. Perhaps I could get a quick one uh, from the woman representative for Kisumu as well as nominated senator. Uh, perhaps if I could start with you, uh, Mwashimiwa. Uh, very briefly, the universal health care uh, pilot program targets, among other counties, your county. Uh, what do you seek to gain from that program? First of all, um, we must be grateful that today Kisumu County is one of the counties that's being used as a, for piloting the UHC program out of the four counties. In most of our rural areas, there's a lot of pain when it comes to health care. And you know that women are charged with the responsibility of actually protecting their families. For many people, they are not able to reach or access hospitals. And if they do access dispensaries or hospitals, they do not have enough money to access medication. What universal health care is going to do is to enable even those vulnerable people in the rural areas to be able to have access to medication and therefore longer life. So to me, this is a big thing, especially for the women of this county. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perhaps uh, finally here, Mwishmiwa, when we spoke last night, you did mention your expectations from the universal health care. But we also know that the sector has been faced with very many challenges and you see it in the Senate. And one of those is corruption with uh, the NHIF now at the center of a major scam. Uh, what, are, what strategies are you as senators advancing to the governors as this pilot program is being rolled out there? Yeah, in fact, the most important thing that we have made very clear is that we want to see the structures. You know, we don't, just don't want to jump into rolling this universal health care out without, first of all, making sure that the structures are there and the structures which can be followed. We know right now there's a lot of problem in NHIF and you don't want the same repeated in the universal health care because this one is going to help the grassroots people. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is the structures must be right and we must make sure that those structures the, is, are, are accountable. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we'll make sure that is done before it is rolled out. Thank you so much. It's a conversation we will continue to have for the better part of the day. Uh, Brenda, I will be taking you out uh, in a few to just show you uh, what the residents uh, are, are up to as they await uh, the president's visit. Perhaps before I hand over back to you, we could just show you, uh, uh, just, just give you a, a, a glimpse of uh, what, what is happening here. And you can see a number of residents here in Ahero uh, already out uh, awaiting uh, that critical launch of the uh, Ahero interchange, which, as I said, is a critical interconnection between Kisumu, Kericho, and Kisi. Back to you, Brenda.